Hi, my name is Sahil and welcome to my YouTube channel Examon. If you are also an exam aspirant and preparing for either UPSC, SSC, Banking, Railways or any other government exam, then this video is for you. I will be covering total 60 questions in this video and this will remain the part 2 of January 2024 Current Affairs. Part 1 I have already covered and uh, if you haven't watched that video, you can go and watch that. Or maybe after covering this video, you can watch that video too. Uh, if you want to download the PDF, uh, please find the uh, Telegram channel link in the description below. You will find the complete PDF of January month there. So let's begin with this video and uh, before starting this video, I have only one request. Please watch the video till the end because you never know uh, the question you skipped might come to an exam. And in each question, I will be uh, adding some additional tips uh, with each question. That means I will be providing some additional information with each question. So let's begin with, let's begin with question number one. Question number one, here you can see uh, question number 61. Uh, uh, how old is Gabriel Attal making him the youngest prime minister in French history? So let me tell you guys, uh, Gabriel Attal became France's youngest prime minister and he is just 34 year old. He is just 34 year old. And who appointed him as the prime minister of France? President of France, Emmanuel Macron. President of France, Emmanuel Macron. And let me tell you one more thing. He, he was... He was the chief guest on our Republic Day, 26 January 2024. And that's why, that's why this question becomes important. And Gabriel Attal, he is the youngest, he is the youngest and first openly gay prime minister. First openly gay prime minister uh, in French history. That's why this question again becomes very important. So you must remember two things. Uh, first, the name of the youngest prime minister in France. Gabriel Attal and who appointed him the Prime Minister of France, President of France, Emmanuel Macron and how old he is, how old he is, he is 34 years old. So one more uh, last thing is what position did Gabriel Attal hold before becoming the Prime Minister? What position did Gabriel Attal hold before becoming the Prime Minister? He, he is the uh, Education Minister, he was the Education Minister. He was the education minister before becoming the prime minister. So this is the important question. Question number one. Let's move forward to next question. Question number 62. It's a very simple question. And uh, I think a few of you must be, might be knowing this also. So question says, what is the name of union minister Samriti Rani's radio show? So the correct answer is, Nai Soch, Nai Kahani. Nai soch, nai kahani. So in the last radio show, uh, the topic was, the topic was Viksit Bharat, Viksit Bharat, Sankalp Yatra. Viksit Bharat, Sankalp Yatra. She talked about this topic and uh, she uh, discussed about the campaign uh, uh, Viksit Bharat, Sankalp Yatra for spreading awareness and ensuring the saturation of central government scheme, central government schemes across the nation. So she talked about this uh, in the last uh, topic. That's why this question is important. Uh, what is the name of the uh, new radio show? It was launched in um, November 2023 and uh, it broadcast every Wednesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So you must remember the name of the uh, radio show uh, by Union Minister Samriti Yani. Nai Soch, Nai Kahani. Let's see the next question. So friends, we all know Ayodhya remain in the news uh, from last several months and here is imp another important question. Which company's 3D digital twin platform has been chosen as the official map for Ayodhya city? The correct answer is Genesis International 3D digital twin platform. Genesis International 3D digital twin platform has been chosen by the Ay Ayodhya Development Authority as the official map for Ayodhya city. Talking about this map, it integrates uh, cutting edge 2D navigation and a 3D digital twin of the entire city, offering users as an unparalleled and immersive and immersive experience. So uh, you must remember the name of the company Genesis International. Genesis International. 
guys uh, i would like to ask you one thing have you ever been to dubai if yes uh, write in the comment section below and uh, if you ever ne if you have never been to dubai then i wish you must visit dubai and it's all for the good reason because uh, dubai claimed top honor in 2024 trip advisor traveler's choice award for the third consecutive year yes for the last 3 years for the last 3 successive years uh, dubai dubai becomes the first city to secure the number one global destination titles and uh, this award exclusively based on million of traveler reviews uh, uh, like uh, reflecting dubai's outstanding hospitality and attraction and uh, let me tell you one more thing uh, 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 dubai tourism dubai's tourism uh, contribute to over 10% of the city's gdp uh, gdp so it 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 is it is a vital contributor to over 10% of dubai's gdp that's why dubai's tourism itself is a success and here uh, for the last 3 years uh, dubai becomes the first city to secure this number 1 uh, global destination title in 2000 uh, in trip advisor traveler's choice award so you must remember the city and i wish you must visit one day let's move to next question Question number sixty-five is a it's an easy question. Uh, although we are discussing everything, or this video is in English language, but here the question is: On which date is World Hindi Day annually observed? So it is uh, observed annually on January tenth. It is observed annually on January tenth, and uh, with the aim of promoting the use of Hindi language internationally. So here one more question arises. Uh, The first World Hindi Conference was held in Nagpur. Was held in Nagpur on January ten, two thousand six. On January ten, two thousand six, making the origin of World Hindi Day. And as I told you, the primary objective of the day is to encourage and facilitate the use of Hindi on a global scale, fostering cultural and linguistic ties. So you must remember the name. Oh, sorry, the date of the uh, World Hindi Day, January tenth. January tenth. Let's move to next question. Next question. Next question is related to science and tech, and it is uh, talking about Microsoft. So recently, on January eighth, on January eighth, Microsoft launched AI Odyssey, AI Odyssey, AI Odyssey, AI Odyssey to scale one lakh developers in India. To scale one lakh developers in India. and uh, with this program it provides a comprehensive learning experience uh, which will guide developers to acquire and demonstrate skills crucial for executing projects using ai technologies aligned with their business goals and one more important question here is who is the managing director of microsoft india who is the managing director of microsoft india so irena ghosh irena ghosh so you must remember uh, uh, you must uh, recall this question in which country is microsoft launching the ai odyssey initiative as i told you uh, th they have launched this uh, ai odyssey to skill 1 lakh developers in india in india let's move on to next question question number 67 which country will host the unesco's world heritage committee in 2024 so the correct answer is india so guys this question is very important because india is set to chair and host unesco world heritage committee from july 21 to july 31 2024 and uh, it will be held in new delhi and why this question is important because this is the first time this is the first time india will lead this committee and uh, uh, india's represent uh, permanent represented tape to unesco uh, vishal v sharma announced the decision on january 9 so you must remember uh, which country is going to chair and host unesco world heritage committee in 2024 india let's move on to next question question number 68 important question another important question uh, from the economic section uh, so what is uh, this all about um, so it it talks about the ilo report ilo report international level organization report so it predicts uh, a slight increase in global unemployment rate to 5.2% in 2024 earlier it was 2020 uh, earlier in the year 2023 it was 5.1% and now it is 5.2% uh, a slight increase in the global unemployment 
so it raises a concern also especially in the high income countries where uh, employment growth is expected uh, to turn negative in 2024 and there is an anticipation that in the year 2025 there will be a modest improvement there will be a modest improvement but here in the ilo's 2024 world employment and social outlook report it shows that uh, they predicted that the unemployment uh, rate will uh, uh, increase to 5.2% let's move on to next question question number 69 another important question uh, just like every year we observe a national youth festival from january 12 from january 12 till january 16 and this year uh, this national youth festival uh, took place in nasik maharashtra nasik maharashtra so uh, our prime minister uh, narendra uh, modi ji inaugurated this 27th national uh, youth festival in nasik and uh, just like uh, every year uh, this uh, festival is organized uh, from 12 january to 16 january two important question here uh, on whose birth anniversary uh, this uh, national youth festival is observed on the birth anniversary of swami vivekanand swami vivekanand and the next question important question is uh, what is the theme of this year's festival what is the theme of this year's festival uh, the theme is viksit bharat at the rate 2047 yuva ke liye yuva ke dwara yuva ke liye yuva ke dwara so total three important question uh, Uh, this year uh, where is the national youth festival uh, uh, is uh, took place it took place in nasik maharashtra second question uh, on whose uh, birth anniversary this uh, uh, national youth festival been observed it is observed on the birth anniversary of swami vivekananda and third question is what is the theme of this uh, year's festival it is viksit bharat at the rate 2047 yuva ke liye yuva ke dwar let's move on to next question question number 70 uh, it's a simple question uh, not to remember much uh, but still uh, who has been managed who has been appointed as the managing director for experian in india managing director for experian in india manish jain manish jain next question so actually friends this already happened uh, uh, wings india 2024 already happened and this happened uh, in the uh, begum port begum port airport uh, hyderabad begum port airport hyderabad so uh, this was scheduled from january 18 uh, to january 21 and uh, two important questions is there uh, first who inaugurated this asia's largest aviation expo wings india 2024 uh, civil uh, civil aviation union minister shri jyotir aditya m sindhya and what was the theme what was the theme theme of wings india 2024 connecting india to the world in amrit kal setting the stage for india civil aviation at the rate 2047 2047 and one important uh, one uh, important question for upsc aspirants uh, indian aviation sector symbolizes three a's uh, what are they accessibility availability and affordability accessibility availability and affordability so you must remember uh, which airport prepared uh, for uh, wings india 2024 begumpet airport hyderabad hyderabad let's see another question question number 72 so guys this question is very important as uh, uh, she is the first indian woman she is the first indian woman who won this arjuna award she is divya kirti singh she is divya kirti singh and the uh, sports uh, in which she received this award is equestrian equestrian so recently president of india draupadi murmu ji presented this uh, prestigious arjuna award to her at a ceremony at uh, rashtrapati bhavan in new delhi and uh, additionally uh, about her she is from jaipur and uh, she ranks first in asia in this category equestrian category and 14th globally and 14th globally so you must remember the name of this uh, first indian woman uh, who won this arjuna award divya kirti singh divya kirti singh question number 73 another important question guys uh, indian army declared 2024 as the year of 
technology absorption year of technology absorption uh, highlighting the army's commitment to utilizing technology and along with this there are uh, three important questions uh, first uh, uh, what is the name of the project initiated by the indian army for enhancing its cyberspace capability so the project name is the project name is project sambhav project sambhav and uh, one question related to this uh, which uh, on what technology does project sambhav operate on so it operates on 5g it operates on 5g and one last question here is who is the current chief of indian army who is the current chief of indian army so his name is general manoj pandey he is the current chief of indian army so you must remember three things uh, indian army declared year 2024 as the year of technology absorption second uh, with which project it is uh, it is related it is related to project sambhav and it operates on 5g and uh, the current chief of indian army is general manoj pandey general manoj pandey question number 74 another important question from economics uh, uh, recently uh, zeroda fund house zeroda fund house introduced india's first india's first growth liquid etf etf means exchange traded funds exchange traded funds and what is this all about uh, what is this funds all about these are the funds that trade on exchanges generally uh, tracking a specific index so recently uh, zeroda fund house introduced india's first growth liquid etf so you must remember the name uh, zeroda let us see another question question number 75 so guys uh, first of all what is this henley passport index what is this henley passport index so let me tell you it is a global ranking of uh, countries uh, according to the travel freedom uh, allowed by those countries uh, ordinary passport for their citizen for example like uh, here you can see the passport name is uh, the passport uh, uh, if of uh, if a uh, particular person having a, a france passport or a Fra if he is a france citizen then he can get a visa free access to 194 destination uh, and uh, uh, in the same way india's ranking in the 2024 henley passport index is 80th 80th and i think approximately uh, uh, an indian can get a visa free access to almost 60 countries so uh, it is important question uh, India's ranking in the 2024 Henley uh, Passport Index, it is 80th rank and the country leading this index is France, Germany, Italy, um, Japan, Singapore and Spain, each having a visa free access to 194 destinations. So important question you must remember. Question number 76. So guys, this question I have, I have already discovered. Who is honored on National Youth Day? National Youth Day is observed annually on January 12th and uh, uh, it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda. Question number 77. Uh, one of the most important question uh, in the second part. Which city is won the cleanest Ganga Towns Award in the Swachh Survekshan 2023 awards? So the correct answer is Varanasi and Prayagraj. On the left side, uh, you can see all these uh, awards. Uh, all India Clean City Rank 1 goes to Indore and Surat. Indore and Surat. And the clean city uh, with rank 1 and population less than 1 lakh is Saswad. Saswad. Cleanness uh, Containment Board. Mahao Containment Board. Mahao Containment Board. And uh, best is 5 Mitra Surakshit Shahar. Chandigarh. Chandigarh. And cleanest Ganga Town Rank 1. Varanasi. And Rank 2. Prayagraj, rank to Prayagraj. Another important question, uh, which ministry organized this uh, Swachh Survekshan 2023 awards? Ministry of, Ministry of, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Important question, you must remember, uh, which cities uh, won the cleanest Ganga towns? Varanasi and Prayagraj, which is the All India Clean City rank number one? Indore and Surat. Uh, Contournement Board, Mahao Contournement Board and Best Swai Mitra Surakshit Shahar Chandigarh. Let's move on to next question. Question number 78. 
so friends why this question is important uh, let me tell you uh, in a male dominated industry in a male dominated industry she is the first woman she has uh, make history uh, by becoming the first woman to win this award and she is none other than deep bandare deepa bandare deepa bandare so she is the first woman to win the best environment officer award in the sugar industry why this question is important because uh, she uh, stands out in a predominantly male dominated industry uh, additional questions uh, which sugar factory is deepa bandare associated with which sugar factory is deepa bandare associated with so she is associated with she is associated with shri datta shri datta cooperative sugar factory shri datta cooperative sugar factory and where this uh, cooperative sugar factory located it is located in kolapur it is located in kolapur next important question who conferred the best environment officer award to deepa bhandare who conferred so uh, it was conferred by it was conferred by vasant dada sugar institute chairman vasant dada sugar institute chairman sharad pawar sharad pawar sharad pawar so important question important name deepa bandare the first woman to win the best environment officer award in sugar industry uh, question important related to environment and uh, you must remember the name deepa bandare deepa bandare Question number seventy nine. So friends, uh, work for food. Work for food uh, developed by IIT Delhi for food delivery agents. And uh, uh, recently, this uh, concept was presented at the International Joint Conference on Inter- uh, Artificial Intelligence. And uh, let me tell you what is the main purpose of this uh, work for food. Uh, so uh, it 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 actually uh, ins- ensure government mandated minimum wage compensation for delivery workers and. along with this uh, there is a environmental uh, benefit also associated with this work for food approach and uh, this uh, this approach aims to reduce unnecessary travel uh, uh, among delivery agents potentially contributing to a reduction in air pollution caused by vehicular emission so there are two things uh, it is ensuring government uh, mandated minimum wage compensation for them and the second thing is uh, it has a environmental benefit a great approach a great concept and i feel i wish uh, this uh, would work uh, brilliantly in the future so you must remember work for food developed by iit delhi for food delivery agents let us see another question question number 80 question number 80 so friends this question is important as part of state exam so what is the name of west bengal's first next generation electric ferry unveiled by grsc the name of the ferry is thiu so it is unveiled by garden reach ship builders and engineers limited so next question is how is this thiu ferry powered so it uh, runs on battery and solar power it runs on battery and solar power and due to this uh, it ensures a noise free and vibration free ride so what what does what capacity does this uh, have for the uh, have for the passenger it uh, it can ride one uh, fifty passengers at a time. One fifty passengers at a time. And one more important question is: What vision? With what vision does the launch of Dew Ferry line with? So it is aligned with Maritime, Maritime India Vision, two thousand thirty. Maritime India Vision two thousand thirty. All you need to remember the name of the uh, ferry, Dew. Um, who unveiled this? garden reach ship builders and engineers and um, uh, how is this uh, ferry powered it is uh, powered with uh, battery and solar power let us see another question question number 81 uh, important question as uh, related to sport so question says what are the names of official mascots representing siberian tigers for the 9th asian winter games for the 9th asian winter games uh, this this these games are going to be held in the year 2025 and uh, recently uh, harbin harbin uh, a city recently harbin unveiled official mascots and emblem for the 9th asian winter game and uh, uh, the names are the names are the names are binbin and nini the names are binbin and nini here you can see on the right side 
नाइन्थ एशियन विंटर गेम्स मास्कर्स बिन बिन एट मीनिंग एंड वट डू दे रिप्रेजेंट दे वट डू दे रिप्रेजेंट सो दे रिप्रेजेंट साइबेरियन टाइगर सिम्बलाइज द नेचुरल एंड कल्चरल हेरिटेज ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट स्पेसिफिकली द साइबेरियन टाइगर कल्चर एंड वॉट इज द ऑफिशियस स्लोगन वट इज द ऑफिशियल स्लोगन तो राइट एड डाउन वट इज द ऑफिशियल स्लोगन ऑफ दिस नाइन्थ एशियन विंटर गेम्स इट इज ड्रीम ऑफ विंटर दिस इज ऑफिशियल स्लोगन ड्रीम ऑफ विंटर लव अमंग एशिया लव अमंग एशिया लव अमंग एशिया इट इज द ऑफिशियल स्लोगन ऑफ दिस नाइन्थ एशियन विंटर गेम्स एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव इन दी हार्बिन सिटी इन दी हार्बिन सिटी एंड वट आर द नेम ऑफ द ऑफिशियल मार्च कोड बिन बिन एंड नीनी एंड वट डू दे रिप्रेजेंट दे रिप्रेजेंट साइबेरियन टाइगर्स लेट्स सी अनदर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी टू अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एज पर द इन्वायरमेंट पार्ट सो सी आर ई ए रिपोर्ट इज आउट वट डज दिस सी आर ई ए स्टैंड फॉर सी आर ई ए इज सेंटर फॉर रिसर्च ऑन एनर्जी एंड क्लीन एयर सो सी आर ई ए टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री रिपोर्ट इज आउट एंड यू विल बी यू विल फील अमेज दैट इट्स नॉट डेली द मोस्ट पोल्यूटेड सिटी इन टू थाउजेंड it's meghalaya's brinith uh, city top this list and uh, second one is begusrai in bihar and third is greater noida in uttar pradesh uh, for this time delhi ranked delhi ranked 8th uh, in the uh, air pollution uh, rank list and uh, you must remember the name it's uh, brinhat it's brinhat or brinhat uh, in meghalaya that's the india's most polluted city in 2023 so this question is important quite important as per uh, as per the environment part of view so you must remember the name it's uh, brinhat in meghalaya that is the number one top ranker in the india's most polluted city in 2023 according to the crea report center for research on energy and clean air question number 83 easy one uh, because uh, they have successfully made this uh, record uh, which airport reclaimed the title reclaimed the title of world's best airport for 2023 it's again changi airport singapore changi airport singapore and uh, the whole list the whole list you can find it out in world airport awards.com world airport awards.com so at the number 1 is changi airport singapore the second at number 2 is rank number 2 is doha amar so you must remember the name uh, the, the top ranker world's number 1 uh, best world's best airport for 2023 is singapore's airport changi airport let's see another question question number 84 so friends uh, denmark's uh, denmark's crown prince frederick prince frederick to uh, frederick to become the new king and uh, Uh, queen margaret 2 queen margaret 2 will step down and uh, uh, the uh, the new king of denmark will be prince frederick and his wife and his wife uh, princess mary princess mary will become queen so you must remember the name of the new king of denmark uh, uh, crown uh, prince frederick prince frederick let's move on to next question question number 85 Question number eighty-five. So, friends, uh, the twelfth edition of the largest multilateral naval exercise, Milan, two thousand twenty-four, is scheduled from nineteenth to twenty-seventh Feb, two thousand twenty-four, in Vishakhapatnam. And uh, uh, the goal of this uh, uh, exercise is to strengthen maritime cooperation and security. So, this uh, exercise uh, includes both harbor phase and uh, Sea phase uh, and uh, why why uh, is Vishakha Patnam chosen as the preferred destination for future Milan exercise because uh, of its uh, growing stature and need for a larger staging and hosting base. So you should remember uh, the twelfth uh, edition of largest multilateral naval exercise uh, Milan two thousand four twenty four is taking place in Vishakha Patnam is taking place in Vishakha Patnam. question number 86 so guys uh, do you do you like uh, flying kites uh, if yes comment in the uh, comment section below yes if no then it's okay uh, so 
it's not that important question but still uh, it's in the news so delhi's first international kite festival took place in bansera new delhi uh, uh, the name of the kite festival international kite festival is, was patang utsav and uh, Lieutenant Governor, Lieutenant Governor V K Sagasena inaugurated this International Kite Festival. So all you need to know the name of the International Kite Festival, Patang Utsav, and it happened in Bansera, New Delhi. Let's move on to the next question. Question number eighty-seven, important question as per environment uh, point of view. Uh, you here you can see a significant 1.9 percent reduction in U.S. greenhouse gas emissions in 2023, and uh, it attributed to a 8 percent decline in the overall power sector. So it's a it's a major thing, and according to the uh, according to Rodium Group, it emphasized the need for sustained efforts to address environmental concern and. They are also calling for annual emission reduction of 6.9 percent between 2024 and 2030. So all you need to know here is what was the percentage drop in U.S. greenhouse gas emission in 2023? 1.9 percent. 1.9 percent. Let's move to another question. Question number 88. Question number eighty-eight. Uh, state level exam important question. Uh, who inaugurated the World Tamil Diaspora Day celebration in Chennai. So it happened on 11th and 12th Jan, and um, Tamil Nadu's uh, Chief Minister M K Stenel inaugurated it. So another second second question might come in this way: Who is the Chief Minister of uh, Tamil Nadu? M K Stenel. And on which dates uh, World Tamil Diaspora Day celebration uh, were observed? Uh, were observed on 11th and 12th Jan. On 11th and 12th. Yeah. Question number eighty nine. Another very important question uh, as per the environment background. So question says, what does the Apadi Conservation Reserve aim to safeguard? So let me tell you. First of all, Maharashtra declared a new Apadi Conservation Reserve in Sangli district. In Sangli district, and uh, this uh, new reserve links with many. many here you can see the word many conservation area with 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 madhok bird sanctuary so it it is this reserve is to safeguard habitat of wolves deer foxes and civets so this question might come in the mcqs uh, type of question like uh, uh, what does the apadi conservation reserve aim to safeguard So uh, in the options uh, there can be a wolves b d r c foxes and d all of the above so you must remember uh, what they are going to safeguard they are going to safeguard wolves d r foxes and civets another important question uh, where it is located where it is located up uh, at the conservation reserve it is located in sangli district maharashtra sangli district maharashtra Question number ninety. So, friends, we are halfway, and these are all important questions related to environment. And you must know this. And if you like this uh, content uh, till now, you must uh, uh, give a thumbs up button to my video. And after completing the video, you can share to your friends or those needy ones who who are preparing for various exam. So, here another question. Question number ninety. So, let us talk about this. So recently, uh, Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve report eighty four thousand eight hundred and thirty birds in recent water bird census. In recent water bird census, and it marks a substantial twenty seven percent, twenty seven percent increase since the last count in two thousand twenty one to two thousand twenty two. So it is important question, and you must uh, remember the number of birds. Sometimes uh, uh, they may ask this numbers. Uh, Uh, i still remember uh, uh, one of the question it was repeated in various exam how many tigers we are left in india or how many tigers we are we have in india so such questions do come and uh, it's a new water bird census uh, kaziranga national bird record presence of 84830 birds and where is this kaziranga national park it is in assam it is in assam Question number ninety-one. What is the theme of the Gujarat Global Summit two thousand twenty-four? So the theme is Gateway to the Future. 
so guys uh, this uh, 10th edition of the vibrant gujarat global summit held from uh, 10th january till 12th january in gandhinagar gujarat and its theme is gateway to the future gateway to the future and uh, talking about this uh, uh, summit there were sectors on which the memorandum of understanding were focused on and these sectors are um, e mobility green hydrogen renewable energy and semiconductors uh, and uh, one more thing uh, whose vision whose vision does the gujarat global summit 2024 aim to realize so it was a, it is a vision of prime minister prime minister shri narendra modi aims for a developed aims for a developed india aims for a developed india at the rate 2047 at the rate 2047 uh, so here all you need to remember is the theme theme of this uh, gujarat global summit the theme is gateway to the future gateway to the future and we are getting the same question question number 92 whose vision does the gujarat global summit 2024 aim to realize uh, it's prime minister shri narendra modi's vision uh, which aims for a developed india at the rate 2047 friends question number 93 what is the purpose of namo namad data portal namo namad data portal so let's talk about this portal uh, recently jp nadda the president of bjp inaugurates this portal in new delhi and uh, the main aim the main aim uh, is to engage and register uh, register first time voters as viksit bharat ambassadors first time voters as Vixit Bharat ambassador and as a part of this initiative as a part of this initiative 5000 conferences organized on 25th January to strengthen the to strengthen the party's outreach and democratic content so you must remember uh, the name of the portal it's namo namadata portal and uh, who launched it jp nadda the president of bjp and uh, what is, what is the aim of this portal the main aim is of the portal is to engage and register first time voters as Vixit Bharat ambassadors. Vixit Bharat ambassadors. So the question here says, what is the purpose? So direct answer, option number B, youth empowerment and registration of first time voters. Let's see another question, question number 94. Question number 94, simple static question. It might come uh, in the exam. So here the question says, what is Bhishma recently launched in Kolkata? So guys, as you can see uh, on the left hand side, Bhishma, a 25 ton bollard pull tug launched in Make in India Triumph. So it, 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 it was made under the Make in India initiative and also it aligns with the Atm Nirbhar Bharat vision. And talking about these tugs, there were, uh, there are six tugs which are being constructed as a part of this series under the Make in India initiative. And uh, uh, how they will be contributing to in naval operations? They will be uh, operating as uh, they will be doing operations like birthing, unbirthing, firefighting, maneuvering. So these will be the uh, naval operation. These tugs will be helping out. And uh, all you need to know the name, the name of this tug. The name of the tug is Bishm. The name of the tug is Bish. Question number ninety-five. So guys, this is very easy question. Who led the Armed Forces Veterans Day? So let me tell you, uh, 8th Armed Forces Veterans Day was celebrated on January 14, 2024 and our Raksha Mantri, our Defense Minister, Shri Rajna Singh led this celebration in Kanpur. Uh, uh, the celebration also hosted at different locations like uh, Shrinagar, Pathan Kot, Delhi, Alwar, Jodhpur, Guwahati, Mumbai, Secunderabad and Kochi and uh, the anthem played during that event was the anthem played during that event was we we the we for veterans we for veterans so two things to remember um, uh, eighth armed uh, forces veteran day was celebrated on january 14 who led this celebration our defense minister shri rajna singh and what was the anthem played during that event we for veterans we for veterans Question number 96, where did the three day international camel festival commence with a grand heritage walk? It's an easy question. Uh, these all places are in uh, Rajasthan, uh, but uh, we have to tell the 
right one the correct answer is bikaner and to be very specific this heritage walk this heritage walk started from rampuria haveli rampuria haveli which is in bikaner district question number 97 so, so guys i feel like this question might come in many of the exams this year and uh, it is related to environment so uh, talking about the himalayan wolf uh, it is for the very first time it is on the iucn red list and categorizing it as vulnerable categorizing it as vulnerable and uh, uh, ab talking about the population or uh, talking about the estimated population range of this uh, himalayan wolf uh, the estimated population of 2275 to 3792 mature adult faces ongoing decline and uh, uh, what what could be the primary threats uh, leading to this ongoing decline they they the threats such as um, depredation conflict uh, habitat modification and illegal uh, hunting may be the uh, primary reason for their decline and some uh, some suggestions or some recommendations uh, also uh, were suggested uh, by the iucn uh, they said uh, they should uh, we should secure this wild prey population improving by improving livestock guarding methods so uh, you must remember the name uh, uh, himalayan wolf and now it is categorized as vulnerable in the on the iucn red list on the iucn red list and why this question is important because it is for the very first time that uh, this himalayan wolf uh, has been assessed uh, on the iucn red list so its question this question is quite important i feel this question might come in many of the exams question number 98 simple static question who has been approved as the technical director at rashtriya chemicals and fertilizers limited so the correct answer is ritu goswami ritu goswami let's see another question question number 99 so guys uh, indian army day indian army day commemorates the 76th anniversary of the indian army's first commander in chief we all know field marshal uh, field marshal k m karyappa k m karyappa and uh, uh, the this year's uh, the theme is this year the theme is in service of the nation the service of the nation so you must remember the dates 15th january indian army day and the uh, theme for this year is in service of the nation in service of the nation so you must remember who was the first commander in chief of the indian army field marshal k m karyappa field marshal k m karyappa question number 100 uh, not so important question but still uh, somewhere somehow this comes in under the psu exam so who received uh, who received the imma lifetime achievement award during the national seminar on green mining initiative indian mineral industry perspective shri manoj kumar and one more thing about him uh, he is the cmd he is the cmd and executive director of western western coal fields western coal fields limited vekoli so he is the uh, he is associated with which company uh, western coal fields limited and he is cmd and executive di director of this organization imma lifetime achievement award manoj kumar question number 101 uh, important but not that much important so let's quickly uh, read this out who became the first indian to win a stage at the dakar rally so guys uh, his name is harith noa as you can see on the right hand side of this uh, image um, hailing from kerala and riding for sharko tvs rally factory harith noa creates history as the first indian to secure a stage victory at the prestigious dakar rally so remember the name if somehow question comes in the exam you must crack that harit noa question number 102 so guys this is uh, one of the most important question under the books and authors category and recently mj akbar and natwar singh launches gandhi a life in three campaign book uh, you can see uh, on the left hand side mj akbar and natwar singh 
so talking about this book this books provide this book provides a detailed exploration of gandhi's life particularly highlighting three pivotal mass campaigns and they are first non cooperation movement non cooperation movement second second salt satyagraha salt satyagraha and the third is quit in quit india third is quit india movement so this book particularly highlighting these three mass campaigns non cooperation movement salt satyagraha and quit india and question might come uh, in the exam also like uh, uh, which three mass campaigns are highlighted in the book gandhi a life in three campaign so there might there might be options like option number a is non cooperation movement option number b is salt satyagraha option number c is quit india and option number d all of these so you must take the Uh, d option all of these non cooperation movement quit india and salt satyagraha question number 103 so friends uh, it's very important question again uh, uh, let me tell you what uh, maharashtra spench tiger reserve makes history as india's first dark sky park securing the fifth position in asia and uh, the status is being given by international union for conservation of nature and they recognize the night sky as a vital natural cultural and historical resource so the establishment of dark sky parks is actively promoted by this uh, international astronomical uh, union and uh, due to them uh, maharashtra pench tiger reserve uh, is india's first dark sky park Uh, it's very beautiful as you can see on the left hand side uh, these pictures are uh, from their website also and thanks to them so you must remember india's first dark sky park pench tiger reserve it is located in maharashtra it is located in maharashtra let's see another question question number 104 question number 104 which state secured the overall championship at the inaugural diu beach games 2024 so it was for the very first time these games have been introduced and mp madhya pradesh dominates the inaugural diu beach games uh, clinching the overall championship with a remarkable tally of 18 medals 18 medals including seven golds and the state which uh, secured the second position is maharashtra maharashtra so they bagged 14 medals with three golds so you need to know the overall championship uh, mp mp dominates this inaugural diu beach games 2024 question number 105 who is the author of the book pranab my father a daughter remembers so indirectly it is asking who is the daughter of pranab mukherjee so the correct answer is sharmista mukherjee sharmista mukherjee so talking about this book uh, it reflects uh, the memories of pranam mukherjee by his daughter uh, sharmista mukherjee uh, here you can see uh, the front page of the book pranab my father uh, our daughter remembers so you must remember the name of uh, uh, his daughter sharmista mukherjee question number 106 So guys recently Indian shooter Yogesh Singh Yogesh Singh secured a gold in the 25 meter center fire pistol event with a score of 573 and in the same event the team of Yogesh Singh Pankaj Yadav Yogesh Singh Pankaj Yadav and Akshay Jain Akshay Jain won gold for India and they helped India achieving the top position in the medal tally so you must remember the name of the Uh, indian shooter yogesh singh and the category men's 25 meter center fire pistol event question number 107 quite important question as we all know that uh, ayodhya is all over the news and this uh, in this year uh, we might be getting many questions uh, from this uh, ayodhya part and similarly indirectly this question is also related to the same so what is the name of the first bilateral exercise this is first bilateral exercise between the indian and royal thai navy so the name of the exercise is x ayutthaya x ayutthaya so what is this uh, the name of the exercise symbolizes it symbolizes the significance of ayodhya in india and ayutthaya in thailand ayutthaya in thailand 
so it is the first bilateral exercise between indian and royal thai navy the name of the exercise is x ayutthaya x ayutthaya 108 direct question uh, icc men's player of the month for december 2023 is pat comments uh, whereas icc women's player of the month uh, uh, for december 2023 is deepti sharma deepti sharma so it is uh, she clinched her first uh, icc women's player of the month and uh, no doubt pat comments we all know he won the world cup also he won the world test championship also and i don't know um, all the best for uh, his t20 world cup also question number 109 again one question related to cricket who is the first woman neutral umpire appointed by icc for a bilateral series for a bilateral series so her name is sue redfern sue redfern sue redfern let's see next question Question number one, 110, another question uh, related to Ayodhya. Which river in Ayodhya is said to get India's first solar powered boat? India's first solar powered boat. So the name of the river is Sarayu. The name of the river is Sarayu. Question number 111, who is the author of the book An Uncommon Love, The Early Life of Sudha and Narayan Murthy? Uh, we all know uh, them, uh, Sudha and Narayan Murthy, the founders of uh, Infosys. And here, uh, one book uh, has been launched, An Uncommon Love, The Early Life of Sudha and Narayan Murthy. And the author of the book is Chitra Banerji Devakaruni. Chitra Banerji Devakaruni. And what aspect of uh, this book uh, focus on? So, the biography delves into the couple's shared love for literature. Uh, especially works by Kannadiga writers. So you must remember uh, the name of the book, An Uncommon Love, The Early Life of Sudha and Narayan Murthy. And it is written by Chitra Benarji Devakaruni. Chitra Benarji Devakaruni. So there are some comments also, you, as you can see on the cover page of this book, Beautiful by Mukesh Ambani, um, Twinkle Kanna, and uh, A Must Read by indra and uh, inspiring by sachin tendulkar so quite interesting quite famous uh, so you must remember the author of the book uh, chitra benerji devakaruni guys last few questions left uh, question says what is the name of the joint exercise conducted by the indian and japanese coast guards so the name of the exercise is sayo kaijan sayo kaijan and uh, where did this exercise took place? This took place off the coast of Chennai. Of the coast of Chennai. Let's move on to next question. Question number 113. Guys, we all know him. He is very famous personality, already a legend. And he surpassed the legendary Vishwanathan uh, after the name of uh, uh, legendary chess player Vishwanathan. We know him, uh, Ramesh Babu. Uh, he is from Chennai and he is just uh, 18 year old and uh, now he is India's number one chess player after defeating Ding Laren, Ding Laren at the Tata Steel Chess Tournament in uh, Vijik Anji. So mind blowing, he is, he is mind blowing. Must uh, remember the name of this uh, uh, 18 year old guy Ramesh Babu Pragananda. So now he is India's number one chess player and he is going to represent our country uh, in the um, future. Bright future, uh, uh, proud moment and uh, uh, I am really proud of him. We are really proud of him guys. So let's see uh, last seven questions. So question number 14, uh, simple question. Who did Rohit Sharma surpass to become the first batsman to score five centuries in T20 International? Uh, earlier, uh, it was uh, a joint record by Surya Kumar Yadhan and Glenn Maxwell. They scored uh, uh, four centuries each. They scored four centuries each. And now, uh, Rohit Sharma has surpassed and become the first batsman to score five centuries in T20 International. So, also with this, uh, he also surpassed Virat Kohli's 
टी ट्वेंटी रन रिकॉर्ड एज कैप्टन एंड इक्वल्ड एम एस धोनीज विन रिकॉर्ड सो ही इज अनदर लेजेंड मैन क्वेश्चन नंबर 115 टॉकिंग अबाउट द योजना व्हिच गवर्नमेंट लॉन्च्ड महात्रि वंदना योजना सो रिसेंटली छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट लॉन्च दिस महात्रि वंदना योजना एंड व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस योजना इट विल बी इट विल प्रोवाइड मंथली असिस्टेंस ऑफ रुपीस थाउजेंड टू वुमेन और यू कैन से टोटल एनुअल एड ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व एंड हु इज एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई फॉर दिस योजना इन छत्तीसगढ़ दोज हु आर रेजिडेंट मैरिड वुमेन एज्ड ट्वेंटी थ्री टू सिक्सटी एंड विद अ फैमिली इनकम बिलो टू पॉइंट फाइव लैख सो दे आर एलिजिबल फॉर दिस मातृ वंदना योजना एंड यू मस्ट रिमेंबर इन विच स्टेट दिस योजना हैज बीन लॉन्च विच गवर्नमेंट लॉन्च दिस योजना छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन who will be conferred with actually who conferred who conferred with the assam bebab award the highest civilian honor in assam so none other than ranjan gogoi so let me tell you about him he was the former chief justice of the supreme court and uh, he remained the he remained the 46th chief justice of india also and why he was conferred with this award because he played a crucial role in the establishment of the ram temple in ayodhya through the landmark supreme court judgment during his tenure in during his tenure as cgi so remember the name uh, ranjan gogoi uh, he has been conferred with the assam bebab award the highest civilian honor in assam last four question guys uh, which city in india is set to become the first to develop a 3d urban spatial digital twin so the city name is varanasi uh, one thing is here the 3d urban spatial digital twin will employ advanced lidar technology lidar technology and what is this lidar technology it is light detection light detection and ranging light detection and ranging and uh, it will create a comprehensive digital map covering 160 square kilometers of all wards in varanasi uh, but all you need to know is which city in india is set to become the first to develop a 3d urban spatial uh, spatial digital twin varanasi question number 118 important question who inaugurated the 206 foot tall statue of social justice in vijayawada so andhra pradesh chief minister ys jagan mohan reddy ys jagan mohan reddy and uh, to be very specific it is located at savraj maidan in vijayawada savraj maidan in vijayawada last two question guys uh, question number 119 what did the khadi and village industries commission launch for republic day it's a simple question uh, they launched khadi sanatan vastra and also they gave a special discount of 10 to 60% on khadi products from 17th january to 25th january and on this uh, on this special occasion uh, of ramotsav uh, they offered a special discount 20% discount on sanatan vastra also from 17th january to 22nd january uh, those who were lucky they got that products uh, and those who haven't uh, might try for the next years on the same occasion let's see the last question of this video guys last question of this uh, video and if you guys uh, like the content and my efforts please uh, give a thumbs up button please like this video and if you uh, find it helpful and uh, uh, feel like uh, you can help others also uh please share this video to the needy ones or those who are preparing for the exams and uh, for regular content and for daily updates also please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, it will be very helpful for you guys and for my motivation it will be uh, boosting it will be like a boosting process for me so let's read out this question we have already discussed this who inaugurated who inaugurated wings india 2024 asia's largest civil aviation show so our union minister jyotiraditya sindhya one more uh, thing is here uh, what was the theme of this show the theme is 
connecting connecting india with the world connecting india with the world in amrit kal in amrit kal in amrit kal so guys uh, this was the uh, second part of uh, january 2024 current affairs i will be coming soon with the part 3 so stay tuned and um, thank you so much uh, uh, thank you for your patience uh, have a wonderful day ahead thank you